All right, guys, what we have is a report of sand bass in the creeks, and we're trying to beat some storms that are coming in with a little more than a uh, conventional fly rod and a little bit of time on our hands. It's about six o'clock. We're going to go see what we can do. All right, guys, we got a few cars here. Like I said, unless you see people fishing and catching conventionally, no point coming out. So I think we're on. All right, guys, in the interest of telling the whole story, uh, we lost part of that video due to the GoPro Hero 3 breakdown. So we're going to go back and try it again over at the uh, 428 Park on the Trinity River Greenbelt access. So we're going to head back out there, spend a few minutes, and try to complete this video. Sorry for the delay on this. Uh, it's about... I don't know, probably 30 degrees colder than it was three days ago when I first went out, started the video, caught a lot of fish that day, and we'll just see how they're doing today. I have a feeling that uh, it won't be quite as good, because that's just the way things go, but when the temperature drops 30 degrees in the middle of April, uh, you take what you can get. Hey guys, we're back here at the 428 Park, which is uh, right next to the Trinity River, as I like to call it on this stretch between uh, Louisville and Ray Roberts, uh, the Trinity Ditch. It's kind of like a South Texas ditch. Um, it's got deep side, you know, high sides to it, and you're down in deep. So I choose to use for you, uh, for you gear geeks, if you want to know what I'm using, it's a Ross fly stick. It's the eight weight, seven foot eleven, and uh, the only reason I use an eight is because sometimes we do get hybrids down here, and you won't be able to turn them with anything less than an eight. Uh, other things that I'm using, I've got somewhere, I've got a clouser that I use. It's kind of super jacked up clouser. It's got a lot of bells and whistles on it. It's this guy right here. This one happens to be uh, green with black over the top. And uh, for those of you who fish a lot like I do, don't forget to get your parks pass. This thing is uh, priceless because uh, you get tapped for seven bucks every time you park. And a uh, $70 pass for the, from the state of Texas goes a long way in a year's time. Right. If it doesn't work this time, we're going to send it back to the company. Uh, no use in having a camera that doesn't work and not even knowing that it doesn't work. So here we go. Sit back and enjoy the ride.
Another nice fish. fish right there. The size of that fish. Much better fish. This tip is called a warm water dead drift. And what I do is I mend some S's into uh, a downstream drift. And as you can see, it allows you to work the water both vertically and horizontally. You're stripping in, but you're also letting that fly swirl from side to side. It's a very deadly technique. The other thing you want to do is if you look at my pivot point here where I raise the rod, you're going to want to move your pivot point from time to time right there. Move your pivot point time to time. In other words, stand in different places in the stream if possible. Now this is a warm water technique and it works during times when sand bass or hybrids are running. And I'm just fishing downstream in a slow, easy current. Even if the current's faster and you're able to wade, feel free to move around safely and change your position because that changes the angle at which the, it comes to the fish. Real deadly technique, real relaxing and really easy to learn. Um, the only thing you have to watch for is if you're using a clouser to make sure you keep it nice and light so it doesn't get hung up. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments or anything else, be sure to let me know.